The air may look better than yesterday, but doctors stay, say we still need to take precautions when we go outside. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor joins us live from Hamilton Heights along the Hudson River. Alice, how's it looking? Dick and Dana, you can actually see the George Washington Bridge behind me. Just a thin white veil of smoke lingers in the air across the Hudson River. You can see the great state of New Jersey. A light rain has just started to fall. Officials do warn that just because visibility is improving doesn't mean the air quality is there yet. The top photo was the New York City skyline yesterday. The middle photo was taken today. The bottom, two weeks ago. Improving, but not there yet. Many played it safe by masking up outside. Yesterday was scary. Uh, the sky turned yellow and then orange and kind of reddish, and I stayed inside quite a bit. So they, it seems better. In Times Square, some tourists told us they stayed inside their hotel yesterday. It was too uh, scary for me. But they were out in full force today. It's just a nice second day here. I love New York. In Columbus Circle, this pedicab worked. <laughs> But bike rentals, this vendor said, were low. No business yesterday here. Today also is not very good. Maybe the weekend will be nice. This breakfast and lunch food cart owner said business has been bad with many working from home. I buy it, I must sell it. You know how much is this left over on the shelf? How much? About 150. Some dined outside a few feet away. Meantime, at other restaurants like Gin Ramen on the Upper West Side, Definitely no outdoor dining yesterday. As for today, nobody. People walk in and say, hey, um, I want to sit inside. They did a lot of delivery last night, but ultimately lost revenue. Even though delivery is a lot, but it not cover the dining part pretty bad for, for um, the restaurant. But hopefully today will be better. Finger cross. New York City Hospitality Alliance Executive Director Andrew Riggi. Restaurants are still recovering from the pandemic. You know, it's a small profit margin business, so any loss of revenue is a hit. Hopefully, this is not going to be more than another day or two. And the Department of Education announced that city schools will be remote tomorrow. Live in Hamilton Heights, Upper Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Alice, thank you.